Hey everybody, Isaac here. I've got a Marbles brand Hunter's Axe in hand here. And we're just gonna sharpen it up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is take this big old blue Sharpie here and color in the edge just so I see where my stone is going to be hitting. Make sure I'm getting the appropriate angle so I can get this axe here nice and sharp so that it can do a good job cutting some firewood. Because it is October right now and it is high time for a campfire. I like these big thick sharpies for marking this line on this axe because you got the nice wide tip there for a nice wide bleed. And as you, you might be able to see there is a small chip out of that axe. I did that chopping at a stump of a bush a while back that was well if it's a stump it's, it's in the ground obviously and I hit a rock <laughs> took a took a chip out of here I got it mostly out uh, with a file and such and well it needs a little a little more work uh, since this axe is high carbon man sparks really flew when I hit that rock with the edge of this axe. So here we got a Lansky's puck. We got this this dark side here. You can hear my son and the TV in the background. We're just in the living room here doing some work, watching cartoons on a Saturday morning. That's how it's done, right folks? Um, but we got a uh, coarse grit side on this, this dark side and finer grit on this lighter gray side. So we're going to start with the coarse grit and do a circular motion. And there you can see I was getting the very edge so you can see the blue sharpie is removed there. So let's keep on working. Really need to get on this uh, tip of this edge more. Hardly got any of that uh, sharpie removed. Progress. Yeah, he put that pumpkin back. We're decorating for fall here today too, so I got some sort of weird pumpkin out.
All right. Maybe a little bit more here. And we'll try to polish this up with the smooth side. on a little bit more. Let's see. All right, let's start on this other side here. We'll see how this works then. Hmm? Uh, we don't do that. That's decoration. So we go back to the coarse side. go on the opposite side. Let's just switch to the smooth side here. Now this edge on an axe isn't going to shave hair or anything like a nice sharp knife would. But hopefully we can hopefully we can cut some wood. This axe is inexpensive. You can get it for like, I think I paid like 25 bucks for it or something. At Smoky Mountain Knife Works a couple years back. And hopefully it's good to go. Might need some more strop on the edge there. You still feel a little bit of burrs. Homemade strap there. All right. 
We will take that out in the field. Uh, maybe we'll try to sharpen this old thing up a little bit here too. Let's uh, mark the edge. This one doesn't have a quite the defined edge that the marbles had because this one's quite old. Go edge, go edge. <laughs> We've got something marked there now that we'll try to cut off. Yeah, go watch your show. Can you sharpen this in? Hmm? Can you sharpen this in? No, no, you don't watch sharpen this. Your glow stick. Daddy, watch this. Daddy, watch this. Oh. No. Oh, so we can chop wood. I do not do not touch that. Because that is sharp. Daddy, <laughs> Progress. I see. Put that down, Luke. <laughs> it's kind of awkward sharpening an axe, isn't it? At least so I can try to get it on camera a bit here, too. Is this loose? No, it must have just... This hatchet here has got to be a solid 50 years old. Put that back, please. That is not a toy. We got Ed showing here. Let's switch over to the smooth side for now.
move over to the other side of this here, back to the course side. Progress. I got this hatchet uh, from a neighbor. My neighbor growing up passed away at the end of 2020. His wife gave me this and a few other things he had in his tool shed, his, his man cave area where he always hung out. Okay, I'm going to move to the smooth side on this. One of the earliest videos I put on my channel a couple years ago was a video where I asked, how do I sharpen an axe? And it was with that marbles that you saw before. Man, that thing came super dull. Um, and I actually took it to a guy in town here who does some professional sharpening to put an edge on that thing because I couldn't really get it sharp myself so he ground an edge on that I don't know with like a belt grinder with files but he put a decent looking edge on it and now I just sharpened it up hopefully I've improved my sharpening skills over the last couple of years. I love the leather strap, man. Okay, well, it may not be the best or the prettiest, but it is an edge, and hopefully it can cut some wood. All while sitting here on a Saturday morning while the kids watch cartoons. Maintain your tools, have fun in the woods. <laughs>